Hey you guys, welcome to my channel where I post hair and lifestyle content. If you want to see how I went from this to this, then keep on watching and don't forget to show love. For this hairstyle, I like to wash my hair first and here is the shampoo and conditioner I used in particular for this day. For my protective styles, I do like to do a hair treatment as well. This is the hair treatment I enjoy using. I also go ahead and apply some curly hair products to really not leave my hair dry during my braiding process. Then I also want to show you a few things I'll be using during my braiding process. So my Jamaican castor oil water spray, my spray mister with water in it, hair clips, rubber bands. I'll also be using my hair hook needle and this type of hair today. In the end, I also use this oil to nourish my scalp and you'll see all of that. Like I said, I start off with my hair washed. Here it is a bit dry already. This is how it looks simply brushed back with curly hair products in it. So the first thing I'll be doing is parting my hair into sections that I want to braid. I like to start with half of my head first so we can put the other section away. Next, I missed my hair to start. Due to my porosity type, it gets dry faster in certain parts. I also personally don't mind wetting my hair to braid because it dries fast and is easier for me personally to manipulate the style I'm trying to do. After spraying that section, I comb the water into my hair and you will see some of my curly hair products is showing here as I re-wet it. Please keep in mind, for some, braiding hair wet is more damaging. For me, it's not too bad, but just keep this in mind then i continue sectioning off the hair i first start with four big parts this is my first hair also my parting is not meant to be perfect i genuinely eyeball it also i wanted to let you know that i use this hair because i find it's closest to my curly hair pattern for a more natural look and it doesn't unravel as easily and um i will also be using this gel throughout the video too i start by applying gel to the outer sections of my parting i also then gel gently comb slash glide down some of it towards the ends of my hair here i'm spraying my castor oil water on top of my gel to melt quote unquote melt my gel more and add moisture to the dry parts i repeat my hair gets dry super fast due to its porosity Every time I spray or add a product, I'm usually combing it in just a heads up. Then I section it one more time, maybe another time too. Then I go ahead and tie the hair at the root very tight. I do this to avoid frizziness around my parting. Now we have about three to four braids per section roughly and we're going to repeat these steps for all four sections so about 16 braids in total or so don't hold me to that number. I have a lot of hair so this is also considered an extra section so I'm just fixing that there too. My ends are hard to tuck when I add hair so I make sure to comb that product in thoroughly to avoid frizzing and my braids from unraveling the reason i wear as much product as i do is to reduce frizz the reason i also do this style quote unquote wet is because of how quick my hair dries and how hard it is to manipulate when dry and frizzy my hair also has a lot of volume so it's easier to part and style when wet i say wet in air quotes because this is not really a wet hairstyle because by the end of me braiding my hair is honestly fully if not almost dry due to how fast it dries so this is also based on my own porosity types by the way now i'm focusing on the front section and repeating similar processes i like to take out what i would consider my sideburns to avoid pinching and pain and all of that to be honest i eyeball my parting so i'm not perfect i genuinely do what feels comfortable on my head above all else i'm then putting the other parted section away i would consider this a upside down triangle kind 
kind of parting and you'll see why in a moment here you can actually see how quick my hair was drying and puffing up in my opinion so this is why i keep it moisturized during styling because you see it does dry fast and i'm repeating my gel on outer sections of the hair for some parting that i only eyeball this really isn't too bad honestly the front is the most important part to me it really makes or breaks the look in my opinion my hair is also the frizziest in the front and middle so to be honest a lot of gel goes here as you can see i brush the front back and tie the rubber band towards the back to create this headband illusion slash front kind of like a flat front look with about six parts or four parts in the front i do this front section as tight as possible and you'll see why at the end if you notice my hair is falling forward and the tension not holding causing like the the hair not being held back and there's no tension and that's causing my front to not lay not lay flat and move around so i'll show you what i do to secure it in place and it really makes all the difference this hairstyle for me is all about manipulating my hair to be honest precision is key here to create a seamless hairstyle in that front i call these my pizza slices in the front at this point you're probably wondering where are the braids is this the hairstyle no girl um i find it's i find it is easier for me if i just section my hair first prep it with product then thread twist the hair in which i'll show you in a minute so i just find this method more time effective for me as you can see here my hair is about 75 percent dry so i'm simply bringing it back to life i applied a little bit of my tgin product here felt i just needed some extra then i start prepping to do this other half of my head here i'm trying to map my parting again again i'm not specific but i make it look close then i go ahead and get my side burns out of the other side as well and i'll show you sped up me doing that section All right, now I am all done with the front and this next part is very important. So look closely, okay? And don't forget to, since you've made it this far, like and subscribe if you haven't by this point. Thank you guys, okay. So my first step here is to tie the front pieces back so that that front section can start to dry very tight and flat. Then I go ahead and clip the other side as well so it's out of my way. And then I put some more parts up to start from the bottom. Now it's time to add the hair so i like to take each piece and split it in half basically because i wanted to match my parting thickness if that makes sense so i like to take each piece and split it in half basically because i wanted to match my parting thickness and this is how it looks after i split it i begin by entering the needle first hook closed then when i know it's sticking out under my rubber band i then put the hair i'm adding into the hook close the hook and then pull through here i'm showing you in real time how tedious this can be sometimes it's seamless other times it's a bit tricky here i am measuring the hair and making sure it is even so when i cut the end of the additional hair it's all in line basically i'm just adding volume in a cute brown color to my sections to give a more voluminous hairstyle i sometimes cut the hair before or after i just switch it up i just switch up the order sometimes then when i braid i just treat the additional hair i put in like it's my own and I simply braid it with my natural hair I also leave a lot of hair out at the ends because I know my curls will coil and also will coil with the additional hair so in the end I feel it really looks great like that here's a really good close-up shot of how I cut it excuse my boyfriend asleep in the back girl please but i did some braids off camera and here's how he was looking so far honestly this is really good for self-care too and i mean when it comes to the ends, sometimes i pre-cut it and then braid or i braid and then i cut the ends off after they both work for me fine honestly
I also love cutting my hair by accident. Thanks. Like, excuse me. <laughs> as you can see, as I move through sections, I also clip it back. Um, that looked absolutely crazy. But P.S. Do you guys see that front piece? It's like completely dry and it's barely curled due to that manipulation. So it's really just me understanding my hair for the most part. By this point, I really do get impatient. I am sorry. I'm just a girl. Like, what can we do? But no, for real, it's almost two hours of this for me. Um, but to you, it's probably just like 10, 16 minutes of a video. Also, I have told y'all before in my vlogs, I'm very heavy handed sometimes. And I just caught myself on camera doing that. So excuse me. I really love this hairstyle because I just wake up cute, number one. But number two, it's relaxing to do it. Even like even if I get impatient at the end, okay? I, I just love the process, even if I get annoyed. Here in this clip, you can really see the hook process a little better. This hairstyle lasts me up to a week because one, I get over it fast. And two, I like to wash my hair often. And so I don't mind. Also, even with proper care, my hair does start to frizz. And if it's not obvious by now, I just really cannot stand my frizzy hair at some points especially in this hairstyle it's just not happening please keep in mind my channel is all experimental i am not a hair expert i'm not a professional hairstylist i've been capturing my natural hair journey online since my big chop of almost two and a half years ago so this hairstyle and the way i do it works for me it may not give you the same results i'm simply sharing this for anyone it resonates with online if you have hair like me or if you have different hair than me maybe i can inspire you to do some self-care today maybe i showed you how to use the hook needle maybe i gave you a hairstyle idea period that you can replicate on your hair with maybe a different type of hair prep if mine doesn't align with your hair needs but whatever may be best suited for you is is my point with this video also if you're wondering how many times i tie the rubber band per braid here you go start to count I'm just taking my hair out. I'm sorry. He's in the back moving so much like ruining the shot, please. Here is the finished look. I can part it to the middle, the sides. Here's my blind parting, how it looks. Like it's not perfect, but it gets the job done. Y'all know what I'm saying? Look at how easy it is to flip my hair to one side. It honestly changes the whole look basically, in my opinion. All right, and before I finish on play, we put a little oil on my scalp. That scalp be dry too. My head is just dry and frizzy. <laughs> at the end, I like to just put Put it up hang out with it like that and then when we leave i do drop it down but i just like how it looks to be honest but yes you guys this is how i do one of my favorite protective styles again remember i am not a hair professional and make sure to show love before you go by liking and subscribing there are also now 600 of you officially today as of october what is today's date i don't remember october 2023 600 of you and i'm so happy to welcome you to my little youtube to family so thank you for watching and i hope to see you in the next one in the next one in the next one and if you feel like one of your friends would love this video or your auntie your mama maybe your boyfriend wants to try this hairstyle send him this video and i appreciate all the support thank you guys